you want to learn how to trade stocks and cryptocurrency, join our community of traders. Go to richpicksdaily.com and find the next 10 bagger. Hi, how's everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich. Here we have a Rich TV Live with our very special guest, David Kerbell, the CEO of Ritual Foods. How are you doing today, David? I'm terrific. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Nice day so far for Ritual Foods. And let's get right into it, David. A lot of our members in our community holding Ritual Foods long term, really like the deal, love everything you guys are doing. So, so far, it's been a huge success for our community. Now, great to have you back on the show. And can you please touch on how your current product rollout is going and where some of the initial milestones you set out for this year are and how those milestones are going? Sure. Thanks. Thanks for having me. I really enjoy being here. So always a pleasure. Six months ago, when we first started putting our plans together for 2021, we said it would be in 2,400 retail stores and 10,000 points of distribution which is fantastic for a company that's starting in this emerging brand superfood space. We've revised that up to 6,000 stores and over 20,000 points of distribution wow. this calendar year. Wow, that's incredible growth, incredible. And what is the feedback you're receiving from retailers for the products? Right place, right product, right time. Um, and, and, and it's overwhelming, not, not only retailers, but our consumers online. Our online presence right now is growing by 61% week after week, wow. which is terrific. Um, our average uh, purchase is a multiple, which is kind of cool. If you look through our cost per unit, you see multiples of two and three units consumers are purchasing that. So it's, again, the right product dealing with the day, day, day in and day out stressors, uh, the immunity uh, challenges we're all under, the focus challenges and the relaxation piece. And our retailers and our consumers are saying the same thing, right time, right place, right now. I always tell our community and our communities all over the world, and they're really impressed with Ritual Foods, that it's all about revenue growth. It's all about revenue growth. It's all about revenue growth. I say it every day, every day. There's so much hype out there in the markets and different things move up and down based on hype. But revenue growth is always going to be the biggest catalyst for any company. Sure. What are your revenues and when are they going to start rolling in? And are they going to be rolling in soon? Yeah, and that's a great question. So, so we're really proud. You know, the first quarter we didn't have any any significant revenue, and and we 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 um, certainly published that, and we knew that, but we knew what was coming. And just in the month of May, for example, just uh, our purchase orders exceeded over three hundred thousand um, dollars just for the month of May, uh, and those are initial purchase orders. We're going to get repeat and multiples of that as we promote the product and really build the brand. So we feel real good about where we are. We feel great to have some points on the board, but this is nowhere even near a third of the way where we're, where we're going to be. So we feel real good about that. Now, I know you guys have put together a deal with Crossmark. What type of growth can Ritual achieve with the current sales plan and sales agreement with Cost Crossmark? Yeah, and, and I'm going to make news here with you. Um, you know, we've put together a three-year plan, um, and we feel very comfortable that within the next year and a half, based on the relationship we have with Crossmark, based on the retailers and e-tailer commitments we've got today, that we'll be delivering our three-year plan in a year and a half. Wow. And what type of revenues do you expect as a run rate for 2021? And how much would ready-to-drink beverages add to this growth? So the so I'll I'll answer the question second first. So the RTDs, uh, in our experience, when you look at my background with Celsius, you look at Sartan, our VP of Sales background with Celsius, Warren, who's our COO, is with been, been with Red Bull. Peter has been with multiple brands. Stacy, our Chief Innovation Officer, multiple brands. So we see 
um, that is being about 75% of our business going forward. So we're just ecstatic. We, and we think our, our run rate within the next 18 months is going to be $25 million annually without the RTDs. Wow. Um, I, I, yeah. So we're in for a rocket ride with the RTDs. 25 million run rate in the next 18 months. Yes, sir. Wow. So that's between now and the end of 2022. Correct. Okay. That's impressive for a company that's trading right around 70 cents in Canada. Now, speaking of beverages, can you please remind the audience of your background? Sure. So again, uh, one of the first uh, initial uh, partners within Celsius, um, but even before that, uh, my first job with Procter & Gamble right out of school was selling beverages, a coffee and Sunny Delight and Hawaiian Punch. So we've got collectively over a hundred years experience with beverages where it gets fun and exciting is, is that what we did with Celsius was we had an alternative to Red Bull. We had a, a, a better taste in product. My, my, my opinion, we had a, a, a really cleaner uh, differentiator versus Red Bull. What we've got with ritual is a great efficacious product. We've got a great taste and we've got something that's easily consumable. So when we launch our RTDs into that real category of um, the, the uh, functional beverages, we think we're going to have an incredible run rate with this. We really do. Excited to see it. Now, understanding that Ritual is in the early stages of very large expected revenue growth trajectory, which you mentioned, is there any last comments you'd like to share with our viewers? Yeah, and those numbers that I just shared are just on our base rate. It does not wow. include any of our innovation, does not include our RTDs. Um, you know, th this is something that I I'd be I'd be jumping on because, you know what, this ride's going to be a lot of fun. We are having fun doing it. It's a labor of love. We do this well. We've done it before. We're going to do it again. Wow. Super excited to see everything unfold. Is there anything you want to leave us with before we say bye today? You know what? Be in good health, be in good cheer, go out and exercise and live life to the fullest and make ritual part of your daily life. I love it. Thank you so much for your time again. David Kerbel, the CEO of Ritual Foods. Thank you. And guys, remember, if you like this video, please smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere and subscribe. If you like the video and you smash the like, it really helps the video go viral so that everybody can learn about this, in my opinion, undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed, early stage company with a very tight float and growing revenues. Now, remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here in Rich TV Live. In saying that, I think this is a company that has an incredible future and I'd love to know what you guys think. Comment down below. This is your boy, Rich. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, David. Have a nice day, everybody.